Hi there, and welcome back to Dr. Adam ASMR. I want to thank you for coming in today, as always. I understand you're here for a pre-operative physical exam. We're going to do that, and we'll talk about what you can expect in the operating room. Now, I don't want you to worry too much. I know it can be very stressful, but trust me, we'll get through this together. Now, the first thing I'd like to do is ask you some questions, specifically questions about anesthesia. Have you ever had a procedure done before? I'm just going to take some notes while you're talking. Okay. And when you had that surgery done, any complications? Okay. I understand. Well, I'm glad to hear that it all went smoothly, and I've made some notes of that. Um, never had a bad reaction with anesthesia? No. Good. Okay. And you don't take any blood thinning medications? Good. No history of heart problems? Very good. Okay. And do you have any allergies specifically to medications that we would need to know about? No family history of bleeding disorders. Good. And you yourself have never had a blood clot. Good. And that aligns with what I see in our records here. Very good. Okay. Well, there's certainly some more questions that we can talk about, but I'd like to get into a physical exam. One of the first things we like to do is make sure that your heart and lungs sound good. Now I know from your record that you're not a smoker, and you don't have asthma or COPD, but I would still like to take a listen to your lungs. Is that okay with you? Great. Remember, when we're doing these respirations, it's just a nice slow breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. Just like that. We'll do quite a few of these to make sure that all of the lung fields are sounding normal. We'll start on the front, and I'm going to use the amplified stethoscope here to make sure I have a very clear and uh, accurate auscultation. Okay, let's get started. I'll have you turn your head the opposite direction of me so that we're not breathing right into each other here. Okay, go ahead and take a deep breath in for me. And out. A deep breath in, and out. Good. A deep breath in, and out. A deep breath in, and out. Great. I'm going to listen under your arm here. A deep breath in for me, and out. Very good. A deep breath in here. And out. Good. I'll take a listen on your back. Deep breath in. And out. Good. A deep breath in. And out. Very good. Okay. Again, a deep breath in. And out. Good. And another deep breath in. And out. Very good. Okay. Your lung exam sounds entirely normal. That's reassuring. As we'd expect, no wheezing. Doesn't sound like you have any difficulty moving air or any signs of a pneumonia. So I think from a pulmonary perspective, you're safe for surgery. But we'd like to check out your heart. We'll take a listen do a quick electrocardiogram, and then we'll also assess your mouth, and that is for intubation. We'll talk about that, and I'll show you the tube that we'll put, the breathing tube. We'll talk about that later. Let's start with your heart. Just breathe nice and easy.
Very good. Everything sounds normal. I don't hear any murmurs. I don't hear anything irregular, like atrial fibrillation or any arrhythmia that we need to be concerned about. How have things been going otherwise? I know the surgery is probably weighing in on your mind. Yeah, it's stressful. Well, I'm glad we're getting this done. And like I said, this clearance is no big deal. We'll get everything done. And of course, we'll be sure to schedule an appointment for after the procedure to talk more and see how you're doing. Okay, now I'm going to get the EKG leads placed. If you'll just sit still for one moment. I'm gonna just put these stickers on your chest here. these wires plugged in. Okay. I'm gonna get your information entered here. Just sit still for me. Okay. I'm gonna pull up the EKG now and you just stay nice and still. Take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good. One more in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Excellent. Hold nice and still for me. We're going to capture that image as soon as we can. I'm just waiting. Let's do one more nice breath in through the nose, and out through your mouth. Let me take these wires off. We're able to get a good EKG here. Okay. All right. Now let me take a look at this EKG. Is got it pulled up here. Good. All looks normal, looks like a healthy heart. No arrhythmias and no signs of ischemia. So that's good from a cardiac perspective and a pulmonary or lung perspective. Your heart and lungs are good for surgery. Now I know you're in good health otherwise, but we do need to take a look inside your mouth, make sure that you have no loose teeth or anything that might make you a difficult intubation since they'll be using a breathing tube during this procedure. Now, give me one moment, I'm going to grab my light, and then we'll take a look inside your mouth. Okay, I've got my light now. I'm gonna go ahead and have you open your mouth and say, ah. Good. Very good. Lift your tongue up for me. Good, and no loose teeth or anything? Okay, I'm just going to measure using my fingers how many spaces there are underneath your chin to the big protuberance in your neck. It's known as the Adam's apple or the thyroid cartilage. So, give me just one second here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And can you look back like this for me? Good, and all the way down. Good. Can you put your ear over? And the other way. Good, and then turn your head. And turn your head. Very good, okay. One more time, all the way back. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't think that will be a problem. And can you just take your bottom teeth and put them in front of your top teeth like this? Can you do that? Good. Very good. Now, let me explain why we ask about all of that. This here is called an endotracheal tube. Now, I don't want you to be afraid of this. It's actually two components here. This portion is known as a stylet. This comes out of the tube. It just helps us to guide the tube into the airway. This is the actual breathing tube itself. It's a straw that's actually quite large and easy to pass air through. Now, 
the nice thing is that while you're already asleep, we'll pass this inside the mouth and down just above the lungs. To do that, we have to have this rigid stylet in place. It allows us to kind of navigate so that we don't have a big floppy tube. While you're sleeping, we'll pass the tube gently down and place it inside the vocal cords, then remove this stylet all the way out. All that will be left is this small tube here, or I should say balloon. This balloon will protect your airway and help keep our pressures up for our ventilation so that we can make sure you're ventilated well. Okay? Now, I know it's kind of scary to think about, but I can tell you that you won't remember this. We're going to use medications that will not only take away the pain and have you sleeping, but also cause you to forget. So there's nothing to worry about during this procedure. We're gonna take very good care of you and the entire team in the operating room is gonna be watching out for you. I think you're going to be a low risk candidate for the intubation. You shouldn't have problems going on and off of the anesthesia. Waking up can be scary sometimes, but just try to think of somewhere happy as you're going to sleep. Oftentimes you'll wake up in that same happy place. Now, if you have any other questions, of course let me know. We'll cover them, whatever they might be. No? Okay. Well, I understand this is a lot to process, but like I said, this is just a quick exam to make sure that you're ready for surgery. I think you are. Be sure to come back next week. We'll follow up, make sure you're doing well, and assess your progress on rehabilitation. Thanks for coming in. We'll see you next week. Hi, welcome. My name is Dr. Adam Goodkoff. One of the doctors here, I'll be taking care of you today. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. I understand you're coming in for an eye exam today. Very good. Well, we'll certainly be able to do that for you. Do you have any concerns or questions before we get started? No, this exam will be painless. It's going to mostly be an external eye exam. We'll have you read off of a vision chart, check your pupils, check your cranial nerves. We'll check sensation all over your face Make sure we don't see any signs of infection or any disease processes. It shouldn't take too long. Any other questions? Okay, very good. Well, let's get started. If you don't mind, please make yourself comfortable. I'm going to start off by just doing an external exam of your hair to make sure we're not missing any disease processes any fungal processes? Oh, excuse me, I'm going to take a look here. Good, I don't see any alopecia or damage to the hair. No fractures of the hair shafts. I don't see any fungus or dry skin suggestive of dandruff. That's all very good. If it's alright with you, I'd like to go ahead and start by palpating some of the facial bones. This should be painless. Start with the frontal bone. Do you have any tenderness here? Okay, good. We'll come down just below your eyes now. Palpating along our zygomatic arch. Any pain in the temporal region here as I'm pressing over your temporal artery? Okay. I'm going to do one side at a time here. I'm going to press on your left. Do you feel that pulsation in your temple? Bite down for me. Hmm. Bite down again, please. Mm -hmm. Let's try that on the other side. Bite down for me, please. Do you feel that pulsation there? That pulse is your temporal artery. It feels normal. And you have no pain as I'm pressing on that area? Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Very good. We're going to continue. I'm going to go ahead and palpate 
below the zygoma now onto your maxilla above your teeth here. Let's just press gently. Okay. And now down into your jaw. Good, and you can feel me pressing under the soft tissue underneath your jaw. I don't feel any swelling or lymph nodes. That's good. And I don't see any lesions on the skin at all on your face, which is great. Healthy skin and no evidence of disease. Okay. I'm going to test sensation now in all of the areas that the trigeminal nerve applies. Do you feel me touching here? Very good. Can you feel me touching here? Very good. And how about down here? Good. I'll have you close your eyes now. Go ahead and close them. Take a deep breath in for me. Go ahead and blow that breath out. Good. We'll do just one more of those. A deep breath in. And out. Good. I can see you're more relaxed now. I'm going to go ahead and palpate an area on your face. I'd like you to tell me what area it is that I'm touching. What area is that? Very good. You feel me touching here? What area is that? Good. Lastly, do you feel me touching here? Excellent. Very good. All of your sensation appears normal. You can go ahead and open your eyes now. Very good. I'm going to have you raise your eyebrows up, please. Good. Nice and symmetrical. Equal strength on both sides. Everything looks normal. Good. Can you smile nice and big for me? Very good. A symmetrical smile. I'd like you to close your eyes as tight as you can for me now. Go ahead and squeeze. I'm going to try and open them. Keep squeezing. Don't let me open your eyes. Good. Good muscle strength there. Everything is normal so far. Very good. Do you mind just opening your mouth for me? Stick your tongue out and say ah. Very good. Can you move your tongue towards your right side? Good. And your left? Good. Very good. Everything feels normal for you when you bite down? Your teeth feel like they're aligned? Can you bite down for me? Good. Bite down one more time. Good. I can see you have good muscle strength. I'd just like to palpate the masseter muscles on the side of your jaw to make sure that the muscle strength feels equal on both sides and that the size of the muscle is about the same. Okay? Go ahead and bite down for me. Good. And bite down again. Good. I'm going to assess your TMJ as well. Many patients have dysfunction here. Go ahead and open your jaw up and close it. Good. Open your jaw up one more time and close it. Good. Your jaw appears to be well seated and the condylar disc does not appear to be lodged anywhere. You have nice smooth tracking of your jaw. Very good. I'm going to test your hearing now. We'll do this with a couple different tests of sound. I'm going to start first by just rubbing my fingers together very faintly. Close your eyes for me if you don't mind. We're going to relax again before we do this. A deep breath in. And out. Please close your eyes for this part. Please let me know where you hear the sound. Yes, very good. Very good. Now, if you could tell me, does the sound seem equal on both sides to you? It does? Oh, good. Very good. We'll go a little bit louder on the sound now. Please take a deep breath and close your eyes again. Very good, and let that breath out. Now that you're relaxed, let me know where you hear this sound first. Okay.
Which side did you hear first? Very good. Excellent. Okay. Everything seems to be normal with your ear exam as well. I'm going to take a look inside your ears if that's okay. Very good. Good. I see a nice healthy tympanic membrane. There's no blood or excess cerumen in there. No dry skin. And no erythema of your ear canal. Take a look on this side now. Any pain as I'm pulling back on your ear here? Excellent. Okay. Not too uncomfortable, I hope. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Well, what I'd like to do now is examine your eyes. We'll start off nice and easy. I'd like you to just follow my finger with just your eyes. Your eyes only. We'll start here in the center. Good. Very good. Uh-huh. Excellent. Right in the center and to the side. Good. Good. Uh-huh. Good. Good. Now I'd like to test your peripheral vision. I'll have you let, you let me know when you start to see my fingers come into view. You'll see them wiggling. Do you see anything yet? Uh-huh. You do. Okay. Very good. Let's test on the other side. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, you do. Very good. Good. I would say everything seems normal on both sides for your peripheral vision. Very good. Can you cover your right eye for me, please? Let me know how many fingers this is. Good. How many fingers is this? Excellent. This? Very good. Could you please switch and cover your left eye? How many fingers is this? Good. How many fingers is this? Good. How many fingers is this? Excellent. You can uncover your eye now. Everything seems normal. If it's alright with you, I'd like to do a visual acuity test. What I'll have you do is read from the top line down as far as you can. Mm hmm. Very good. Excellent. Combined? You have 20-25 vision. What I'll have you do now is cover your right eye only. Start as low as you can and read the line backwards, please. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay. Excellent job. If you could please switch eyes for me. Thank you. We'll try one more time. This time, I'd like you to read from the top down. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Your vision is unchanged when you cover your eyes versus when you use both of your eyes. I know it can be a little bit difficult on a digital screen, but you did a great job with that test. Now, if it's alright with you, I'd like to check your pupils next. Okay, very good. Just look straight ahead for me, right at the tip of this pen. Good. Good. Okay. Excellent. I don't notice any strabismus or 
Any changes in the alignment of your eyes? Okay, just look straight ahead for me. Yep. Mm hmm. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Good. Uh huh. Do you have any pain when I perform this exam? No. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. This part might be a little uncomfortable, but I'd like to get a good look inside of your eyes. What I'm going to do is slowly pull your eyelid away and very gently take a look with the light so that I can make sure there's no foreign bodies or anything scratching your cornea. I want your eyes to be as comfortable as they can. Just let me know if this is uncomfortable. Okay. Small pressure. Great. And on the top, good, I'll take a look over here, and on the top, okay, excellent, you did a great job with that exam, it can be a little bit uncomfortable, but you did a great job, I don't see any foreign bodies, so far, your eye exam is entirely normal. I'd like to test your cranial nerves one final way and test your ocular motions again. I'll have you look right at me and slowly turn your head until your eye can no longer see me on the side you've turned away from. Do it nice and slow and let me know where that happens. We'll then go and do that to the opposite side. Just like so. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Did that feel okay? No dizziness? Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Well, I want to thank you for coming in today. I think this is a really good step in taking care of your health and your eyes. What kind of questions do you have for me? Hmm. No, you're right. We didn't find any pathology today in your eyes. If you'd like, I can take one more look with the flashlight to make sure your pupils do look the same size, but on my exam the first time, I did believe they were about the same size. Let's reevaluate that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would say your pupils are right about four millimeters. Exactly what I had suspected. Any other questions I can answer for you today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're spot on. Keeping your face clean and any makeup or face creams out of your eyes is going to keep your eyes nice and safe. I recommend you come back in three months for another exam, but of course, you can always give me a call. We can set up an appointment sooner. Thank you again for coming in today. I really hope you continue to feel well. Bye-bye now. Hi there. Welcome back to Dr. Adam ASMR. I understand that you're going to be undergoing a surgical procedure. Now, in order to prepare you for that procedure, we're going to go through some preoperative testing. First, we're going to take a thorough history today. So I'd like you to let me know if anything's been bothering you in the last week or month. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's been for about how long? Okay. Well, we will get to a full physical exam and cover that, but I'd like to finish this part. Okay. Any changes in your medications? Hmm. Any allergies? Okay. And no other surgeries that I'm not aware of or that's not included in your chart? Okay. Good. We ask all patients who are going to be having anesthesia, do you use any tobacco? 
any smokeless tobacco, any alcohol, and any illicit drugs. Okay. Well, now that we're done with that, I'd like to go head to toe and do a physical exam to make sure that there's been no changes that maybe you haven't noticed before you go to the operating room. Obviously, anytime we undergo anesthesia, we want to make sure that we are medically optimized and as safe as possible for anesthesia and for the surgery itself. First, I'd like to get a set of vitals. Is that okay with you? Great. Let me just put some gloves on here. Excellent. First thing I'd like you to do is just actually relax there and I'll borrow your wrist. Great. You can just close your eyes and relax if you like or stay just the way you are, whatever you prefer. This will be about 45 seconds more. It's a nice, strong, regular pulse, and when we do assess the pulse like this, of course, we're assessing the rate, so they know what the heart rate is, but also the regularity, if there's any variation in the pulse, and if there's any deficit, which is why in just a few seconds here, when I have the heart rate, I'll check the other side as well and compare. Okay. Almost there. Excellent. Okay, now I'm just going to check the other side. Good. And on the left and the right, those pulses are equal, which is reassuring. Now, as you probably know by now, I was counting your respirations as well. The respirations were 16 today, which is normal. And we need to get a blood pressure. So. If it's all right with you, we'll go ahead and apply the blood pressure cuff here. Slide this on your arm. Good. And I'll just have you relax your arm here. Of course, as you know, we'll be evaluating your blood pressure with this sphygmomanometer here. So, just sit back and relax, rest your arm, and we'll have a blood pressure here shortly. One eighteen on seventy eight. An entirely normal blood pressure. Now let me just take this cuff off here. Good. Now we have our vital signs, and those are stable. But we need to do a full physical exam to make sure that we're not missing anything else. Now, one of the important things with anesthesia is the ability to move your neck. That's important because when they place a breathing tube, they need to be able to change the position of your neck and know that there are no restrictions, that they're not going to cause any damage. What I'd like you to do now, do this along with me, is gently tilt your head back. 
all the way back. Good. And let me know if you have any discomfort there. No? Okay. I'm going to have you do that one more time. I just want to take a look from the side and make sure that there's enough extension angle. Go ahead. Okay. Excellent. That'll be plenty. I'd like you to also bring your chest down to your chin, just like this. Good. No discomfort with that? Okay, very good. The next thing I'm going to do is just take some gross measurements using my fingers as a marker of the distance from your chin towards where your Adam's apple is, and also the distance from under your chin downwards. That can help our anesthesia colleagues to determine what type of equipment they might need to place the breathing tube. Okay? Great. Just relax there. Mm hmm mm hmm mm. Make a note. Okay. Now, we will do a full evaluation, but since we're completing the airway difficulty assessment right now, I'll just have you open your mouth. Now, you don't need to say, ah, I just want you to open. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Now, as normal, we'll go head down through the ear, nose, and throat system into the lungs and the heart. We'll do a cursory abdominal exam today, but that primarily is not going to change your need or requirements for anesthesia or what the surgeon will be doing. So we'll check on everything else now. I'm going to start with inspection as we normally do. Good. It's a normal hair distribution here, and I don't see any masses or see any signs of trauma here. Good. I'm just going to feel your lymph nodes here on preauricular, postauricular, and come down to the submandibular area here. Good. And then anterior cervical chain down the neck, and posterior cervical chain. Very good. Now just shrug your shoulders up like this for me. Good. Very good. Okay. Excellent. No abnormalities in your lymph exam. The head and neck are grossly normal in appearance. And I'd like to check your thyroid as well while we're here. Go ahead and turn your head to the left and swallow for me. Good, good. Turn your head to the other side and swallow. Good, okay. That feels normal in size. I don't feel any masses there. Excellent. I'm going to tap over your sinuses to just make sure there's no signs of infection there. Come down here. How's that? The tapping is uncomfortable, but it doesn't cause pain. Good. Great. Now, what I'd like to do is take a look inside of your ears, nose, and mouth a bit more thorough this time. So. We'll go ahead and use our otoscope to evaluate those areas. Excellent. And you're familiar with this device, I'm sure. So we use it frequently here. We'll start with your ear exam. Is that okay with you? Okay, great. Good. External ear appears normal. Is there any pain here when I'm pulling on the ear? No? Okay. We'll just take a look inside the ear. Good. Normal healthy tympanic membrane. No signs of bleeding. No concerns here. Okay. And we'll come to the other side. Okay. Same thing here. No pain. Good. Good. Clear and healthy tympanic membrane. No signs of bulging or erythema. Good. Good. Canal looks healthy as well there. 
Very good. Ears are entirely normal. Now, I'd like you to look up just a touch. I'm just going to use this to gently look inside the nose and make sure there's no obstructions in case there are any situation where they need to pass anything through the nose, such as an NG tube or, in the case of an emergency airway, sometimes a nasal intubation. So, let's take a look there. Good. And I'm going to have you actually hold your breath. It's fogging up my device a bit here, so just take a deep breath in and hold it. One, two, three. Go ahead and hold. Good. That's much better. Okay. And one more time. Deep breath in and hold. Okay. Good. Everything looks normal. Normal turbinates, no signs of epistaxis, which would be nose bleeding. So everything looks okay there. I'm going to use the bright light source here to get a better look in your mouth. This time I will have you say ah, so I can evaluate the tonsils, the posterior pharynx, and the tongue itself. Okay. Go ahead and say ah for me. Very good. One more time. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'd like you to lift your tongue up against the roof of your mouth. Okay. Very good. Very good. And no pain or tenderness there. You're not having trouble after meals or anything. Okay. Very good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I don't see any difficulty with you swallowing or clearing your secretions, so <clears throat> that is all reassuring. I think from an ear, nose, and throat perspective, we're all set. Now, I would like to do a quick exam on your eyes, so I'm going to switch out to my ophthalmoscope. Go ahead and attach our ophthalmoscope here. Beautiful. Okay, first I'll just take a look at the conjunctiva. So, get my light on. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Now I'm just going to inspect from the side the actual cornea. Now, a slit lamp would be much more thorough, but since there's no major complaints today, this should do fine. Okay, and now I just want you to look straight ahead. I'm going to evaluate your pupils. Good. Very good. Okay. Good. Okay. Everything is as we would expect. Now I'd like to take a listen to your heart and lungs. This part's a bit more important today. I'm going to have you stay seated just like you are, but we'll be thorough and listen to both the front and the back of the lungs, and we'll take a good listen to the heart. Now, I'll let you listen to each in between. Now, let me start with the lungs. Is that okay? Great. Deep breath in. And out through your nose. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in again. And out. Okay, try out my lateral. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Okay. I'm going to listen to your posterior lung fields now on the back. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Have you take a deep breath in here. Good. And out. Compare. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Another deep breath in for me. And out. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Okay. Very good. Now, that all sounds very normal. Your lungs are clear. You're moving a good volume of air. 
It's reassuring. Now, let's get this cleaned off and let you have a quick listen here. Great. Okay. Very good. As you can hear, your lungs are moving great air. So we don't have anything to be concerned about from a respiratory perspective as far as I can tell. Next, we're going to take a listen to your heart. Is that okay? Okay. Good. Everything sounds normal. I don't hear any murmurs, rubs, or gallops. So, clean this off. Would you like to take a listen? Okay. As you can hear, your heart sounds healthy and normal. Neurologic exams don't necessarily need to be done in their entirety for this screening. And in fact, seeing you walk in here and move all of your extremities, track with your eyes, has actually been adequate. Now, I would like to do an abdominal exam, just a brief abdominal exam with palpation to make sure that there's been no changes. I'll step out for a moment and let you get comfortable. Great. Now, you know, you're reclined back here. I'm just going to do some palpation on the abdomen, okay? Let me know if anything's too uncomfortable and we'll stop. Great. Okay, I'm pressing in here. Any discomfort? Okay. Here, a little, little light to deep pressure. Hmm. Okay. All right. We'll stop there. Okay. From an abdominal exam perspective, we're okay now. I just want to take a listen to bowel sounds, and then I'll have you sit back up. Okay. All normal, as to be expected. Give me one moment and I'll be back. Well, that's our exam for your preoperative physical. Now, I'm going to enter some notes here, but while I'm doing that, don't forget to click subscribe so that you don't miss any of our appointments together. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna send you for a formal EKG I'd like you to get that done in the next few days before your surgery. 
Of course, you'll follow up with the surgeon, but if there's anything in the meantime that you need, don't hesitate to send me a message or call. We can always schedule you for another appointment. Otherwise, we'll see you next week at your scheduled appointment. Bye-bye now.